Pintel, old chap. Possibly a tad late. He doesn't like double glazing. Mess, mess, mess. Or salesman. Mess, mess. Just be thankful you're not wearing spotty underpants. Mess, 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 mess. Ah. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. You can buy them red and black striped jumpers in any high street. Wait, eh? Colonel? What's wrong? There's a bar. Oh. Two words. First word, spotty. Second word, <laughs> underpants. <laughs> well, at least her dad's not back yet. <laughs> Dennis! What on earth? And now we have to get the whole house double glazed just to buy off that salesman. You can't deny it, Dennis. That dog is getting worse. Rubbish. He's becoming a real problem. Oh. Nah. Boredom. That's what it is. Oh. You don't even know this was Nasher. Could have been rats, mice. He's bored, Dennis. He's got no one to play with while you're at school. <laughs> Something has to be done. <gasps> Dad, you're a genius. Curly, Dad says I have to get a new pet to keep Nasha company. Eh, <laughs> hey, what? I didn't say that. Meet you at the pet shop in ten. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Okay, we're done here. The Nasha friendly pet pal does not exist. It's a myth, a fairy tale. A... Whoa! <laughs> Seriously, Nasha, this is the one. There's just something about him. <laughs> Say hello to the Abyssinian wirefin piranha. Oh. Nash proof glass with titanium lid and integral oxygen supply. Nice. What does genius wear, boys? A striped jumper, jumper Dennis. Ah, oh, there you are, lads. Status report 1600 hours. Operation Pet Pal, a complete success. Zero casualties, minimal collateral damage. Oops, bagged and tagged. Two, in fact. Um, great. Thanks, Colonel. Cup of time for rations, then, eh? What do piranhas like to eat? <coughs> so, basically anything, yeah? Pretty much. Let's see. The Abyssinian wirefin piranha is almost completely omnivorous. However, <clears throat> under no circumstances whatsoever should this fish ever be fed a... Uh, what? <coughs> pies. As they have been known to cause a... Uh, what? Extreme flatulence. <laughs> Mother, I may have to insist on fewer sprouts at dinner tonight. Yes. Ah! What on earth? Okay, Walter, stay very calm. There's no easy way to say this, but there's a hungry flesh-eating fish in your bath. Actually, that was pretty easy. Respect, Curly. Cheers, Dennis. I try. Are you all insane? Get out at once before I call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
there you go. No harm done, eh? <laughs> Once again, Walter, I am so sorry about this. Well, I do sincerely appreciate your cooperation in this matter. And we sincerely appreciate you not suing us without mercy till we end up homeless, destitute and scavenging for scraps in dustbins. Not at all. Maybe they can have a moment to say goodbye, though, eh? Don't be absurd. Disgusting thing. Deserves everything it gets. Chop, chop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, are we smooth or what? And this year's award for outstanding performance in a fish-themed rescue caper goes to... Nasha! <laughs> nash, Nash! <laughs> oh. It, oh, no, I shouldn't. Well, I'm sure her heart can't hurt. Oh, at least you can't escape this time. <laughs> So, long as nobody ever finds out we've still got the piranha, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, Dennis? just came over to, uh, say sorry. Yep, that's it. Right. Sorry, Walter. Sorry, Walter. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Um, Pieface, he just wants to give you a really sorry hug. Duh. Get out before I call the police. Oh, pardon me. Bad pie. Oh, oh, no, that's not oh. <laughs> You are all disgusting. I need to use the lavatory. You will all be gone by the time I come out, or else. <sighs> OK, where'd the fish go? What's up there, Curly? Uh, that would be the lavatory. <sighs> of course it would. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! <laughs> to buy toilet paper, and if you are still here when I get back, you will taste my wrath. Oh, nice. I like a bit of soup. Wrath, not broth. <laughs> OK, let's go get that fish. <gasps> OK, we all clear on the plan. Um, catch the fish? I didn't say it was a fancy plan. to see him every day. Nash, Nash! <laughs> Nash! So you won't get into trouble gnashing stuff when I'm at school. I know you've still got that fish. Sorry, Walter. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it, and I'm going to prove it. You see if I don't, and what I'm... Oh! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Way to go before you break my menacing record. Uh, 57 pranks in one day. Wow! Do you carry that with you everywhere? <laughs> Better polish up that trophy, Gran, because I'm going to win it. <laughs> gotcha, Menace. You're in big trouble now. Oh, I'm sorry, Parky. It was me, I'm afraid. I was feeding the birdies, but at my age, my eyesight's not what it was. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, that's an honest mistake. Could happen to anyone. <laughs> Very sorry to have bothered you. Bye. And that's another reason I'm better at pranks than you. I get away with mine. Uh, <laughs> there he is. Let's get him. Get him. Ah. Get him. Uh -oh. Run. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, 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 where'd he go? Uh, uh, oh, well. <laughs> Good disguise, Nasha. Well, how can we beat Gran's pranking record with everyone on the lookout for us? It's easy for her. No one suspects a sweet old lady. <gasps> That's it! <gasps> Come on, Nasha. I know how we'll win Gran's trophy. <laughs> see what we have to work with. Uh, I've got Dad's old suit, Mum's scarf and sunglasses, some talcum powder, <laughs> and you fetched a table leg to make a walking stick. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, that's brilliant. Oh. Time for a menace makeover. Oh, oh. oh hello. Is Dennis in? Oh, Dennis has gone out. I'm afraid it's just me and my faithful dog, Gummer. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, you brought him a pie. How thoughtful. <coughs> no, me <my> pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Brilliant. If you don't recognise me, then no one will. But why? So I can break Grand's menacing record. No. I mean, why'd you give Nasha me pie? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Dennis. Hmm. 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 Town really needs to do something about those pigeons. <laughs> That's prank number one. Menacing record. Here we come. Good day, officer. And a very good day to you, kindly old gentleman. May I offer you one of my sweets as a thank you for keeping Beano Town free of menaces? Oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It's an old family recipe. Extra sticky toffees. Oh, it's very... <laughs> made with red hot chilies. <laughs> Looks like you could use a drink to wash them down. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mention it. <laughs> hey, another two pranks done. Only 55 more to go. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Huh? Can you help us cross the street? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> Oh, dear, I forgot I need to go to the shops. 
<laughs> oh, was I on the way to bingo? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should pop in to see my cousin Beryl first. <laughs> After I've returned my life to book. I'm busy with the optician. After that. <laughs> in a can at the supermarket makes 28. Over halfway there. <laughs> We're bound to beat the record. <gasps> and look, there's Gran. And a chance for another prank. <laughs> oh, I see you like flowers, madam. Perhaps you'd care to take a look at the one in my buttonhole. Suspect us old people of being menaces. That record is in the bag. Well, I'm impressed. Congratulations. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah, the only person who's going to beat my record is me. It is on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I think you've got my false teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the print in this menu is far too small. Makes my eyes go funny. <laughs> Something. These old people are nearly as bad as Dennis. What's that, Sarge? Old folks running a mocking Beano town. I'm on it. I've matched your record at 57 pranks, Gran. Just one more, and I'll break it. Oh, yeah? Well, I only need one more prank to set a new record. Here they are! Let's get them. What's the problem, officer? I was just out doing a bit of shopping. She's been pulling pranks all over Beano Town. No, no, no. I'm just a sweet old lady. <laughs> <laughs> you better come with me. Oh, no. Looks like Gran's in real trouble this time. And there's the other one. Only one way to save Gran. That's right. I'm the Beano Town prankster. But <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. Dennis <laughs> oh, the Menace! The one and only! <laughs> I've had half the town complaining about you, Dennis. You're grounded for a month. After all that, we didn't even break Gran's record. Don't be so sure. Huh? But I never finished my last prank. Yes, you did. Your old man disguise was one of the best pranks I have ever seen. On the record for the most pranks in a day with a whopping 58 pranks is yours. Woohoo! <laughs> Yes! Oh, thanks, Gran. Well, thank you for taking the heat off me. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Gran! Well, I've got to start setting a new record. Yes! <laughs> 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 Ages getting these papers into 
Dennis water. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis water. Oh, there is this creature. <laughs> you. What's the emergency? Dennis, the worst thing ever. Actually, it's the worst thing ever, ever. In fact, the worst thing ever, 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 ever. Basically, it's pretty bad. Worst thing ever, 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 ever. Hang on, what's the word I'm looking for? Ever? Yeah, ever. They've cancelled the end of term trip to the adventure playground. What? And even worse, look what they've replaced it with. <laughs> A frog? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard! Who would swap the adventure playground trip for a prom? They must be the most vile, evil, twisted person in the whole universe! Hey, boys. Looking forward to my prom? <laughs> Your prom? Your prom? Oh, you can thank me later. I told Daddy it was time we got rid of the boring old trip to the adventure playground. I mean, it's so immature. We're ten! Proms are for secondary school kids. We don't want a prom. Everyone wants a trip to the adventure playground. Yeah, they have balloons there. And ropes to swing on. They even have an ice rink now. We want a big Well, those are all very good points. But what you're forgetting is... <laughs> Toodles! My face, the emergency custard pie, if you would be so kind. It wasn't me for once. In your face. Oh! <laughs> Dennis, I am getting <laughs> Oh no! Dennis! Angel face is going to Whoa! What does that mean? It means we better put the brakes on her before she crashes! Come on! Noises, so she must be okay. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I won't get into trouble for this. <laughs> oh, or maybe I will. But the skateboard was an accident. I don't care if it was an accident. Detention. Oh. Daddy. Oh, oh, yes, sweetie. Um, detention seems a bit harsh on poor Dennis. Oh, thanks, Angel Face. Maybe you could make it up to me by. Oh, I don't know. Helping me with the school prom. What? No! No, I'll take detention! Double detention! Triple detention! Wonderful idea, Angel Face. So, what does every superclassy school prom need? It's not filled water pistols? No, silly. Something ten times as exciting. Paper chains. Lots and lots of them. And there's the paper for you to make them with. Oh, and a few balloons need blowing up. Get to work on those. I have a massive cake that needs icing. <laughs> oh, Dennis, having to work for Angel Face all day must be awful for him. <laughs> Best school day ever! <laughs> what? No schoolwork! Just the whole day cutting stupid strips of paper and blowing up balloons. And it's going to keep being like this until the prom's over. This is going to be awesome! What are you lot talking about? The prom. Dennis reckons it's going to be awesome. Oh, that's a relief. If this prom goes well, we'll have one every end of term and not bother with the adventure playground ever again. <laughs> what? But, 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 can't stay in chat. I have a feeling that if I don't get these papers into my car quickly, then something will happen to them. <laughs> oh, 
Dennis, you have to make sure that this prom doesn't work out. We might lose the adventure playground trips forever. Hmm. Don't worry, Curly. Tomorrow, there's going to be some gold standard menacing. All right, Dennis. Let's see what... Huh? Ah, Ta-da! Right, Dennis. Clearly, you're not taking this seriously. So, if the students don't have a great time at the prom, you'll get nothing but Brenda Sprout peanut butter and marzipan stew for lunch for the rest of the year. Keep watching, Dennis. I want that floor shinier than Mayor Scrimp's wiggler's head. Hmm. Now, where, oh, where should I place this oh so wonderfully iced cake of mine? <laughs> I think the best place for it would be, uh, my mouth. Oh, please, it's not for you, Dennis. In fact, it's not for anyone. I spent far too long making it for anyone to eat it. Mm. Looks good there, doesn't it? Dennis, do you want Brenda's stew for a year? Ah! <laughs> This is broken. Nasha? Huh? Yes. Oh. Ah. oh, thanks, Nasha. Oh, I'm exhausted. Angel Face was working me like crazy. She's gone too far, Dennis. She can't get away with doing all this. We have to make this prom a disaster. No, no! If this prom isn't brilliant, I'm getting sprout, peanut butter and marzipan stew every day for a year. But if it is brilliant, no more trips to the adventure playground. Oh, what are we going to do? Mm. Ah. Right, we only have two hours before the prom starts. You need to get the balloons and paper chains up now. Mm. <laughs> 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 right, let's get them up. Quick! Thanks for the help, Dennis. <gasps> oh. You put the decorations up? Yep. Well, Dennis, I suppose a thank you is in order. Well, come on then, thank me. Hmm. All right. How about a pat on the back? Uh, okay. Ah! Uh... Oh, by the way, I gave the floor a really good waxing. Oops! Suppose I better clean this up with water balloons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put your feet up. <laughs> Remember what I told you? I do. And I did exactly what you asked. I made the prom great. What? See? They've got balloons. They've got ropes to swing on. They've even got an ice rink. They didn't want a prom. They wanted the adventure playground. And I've given it to them. Look at them! They're happy! You're right, Dennis. Next end of term, we're back at the adventure playground. Yes! <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> In your face! Literally. <laughs> it's a grammatical joke. Yes! Another 
a great save by the Nashmeister. Yes. Huh? Oops. Smash, smash. Oh, smashing kick, Dennis. <laughs> I would describe that as a penalty kick, as the window's going to cost you... A whole year's pocket money. <laughs> what? No way. You know, Dennis, soccer takes sportsmanship, skill, control. Oh, give me back my ball, Walter. All of which I have. It's not about running around with a rubbish goalie like him. Rubbish? He's the best goalie there is. You'd never get one past Nasher. Oh, please. I could win against you in that mangy mutt any time, Dennis. OK, then. This Friday, my team versus yours. And winner pays for the window. You're on. By the way, I'm keeping hold of this in case you or it causes any more damage. Couldn't have put it better myself, B. Operation Menace match of the day. Empty your pockets. Right, it's a three-a-side game, so I'm centre forward. Nash is in goal. Curly, you're in defence. <laughs> what about me? Right, uh, you're the uh, the manager, of course. Oh. <laughs> All right, then, lads. It's a game of two halves, but at the end of the day, we play to win. And, uh, you beat Walter. <laughs> yeah, we've got to smash Walter's defences. Oh, don't say mash. Paul's lost some of his best friends to mash. Smash, pie face, not mash. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've lost you too, pie face. <laughs> 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 Bertie, my house. Bring Dudley and bring sausages. Sausages? Yes, sausages. Dennis! Dennis! Show up some menace! Hooray! Hooray! Let's play some jolly good football today. Captains, over here, please. I'd just like to point out that I'm not just captain, I'm also club manager, coach, CEO and... A turnip. Who has the ball? I do, referee. Hey, that's my ball. Let's get this match underway. <laughs> What's going on, Nasha? Get back in goal. <laughs> A heinous misdemeanor has been committed. According to the official rules of grudge match football in the park, their team's disqualified. Game over. Uh, hello? Are you the referee? Do you have a whistle? Are you in charge? No, I'll say when the game is over. I'll give you one more chance. New ball, please. <laughs> Oh, no, not again. Nasha! Aww. Dennis's team disqualified. Yes! We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions. What's got into Nasha? Bangers. What he means is a bang goes your chance of winning. Nasha, what's got into you? <laughs> Huh? Oh. <laughs> and here is the invoice for the repair to our window. Do pay promptly. Dad gave me that ball for Christmas. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <laughs> what? This smells like sausages. Time to call in the experts. I smell a foul. Menace Substation 3. What's up, Dennis? I need you at Menace HQ. Emergency code red. <sighs> oh, that's sneaky. That's very sneaky. Take a look at this, Dennis. 
See the tiny particles of sausage meat all over the material? Who'd want to make a sausage-flavoured football? Someone who wanted Nasha to destroy the football and lose the game. Walter! Walter. Walter. Rematch tomorrow. Why on earth would I agree to a rematch? Because if you don't, I'll tell everyone you cheated. <gasps> <laughs> we can't do that again. But how else could we beat them? Nasha's way too good at goal. Don't you worry about that dopey dog. I'm going to make sure they get disqualified for good this time. Ah, uh, are they? Nasha's? Nasha's? These? No, they're my granddad's false teeth. I'm going to fix them to look just like Nasher's. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> ah. Now, is it clear who's in charge of this match, Walter? <laughs> Nasha marks, you mean? Ugh, Nasha's been nowhere near the ball. Uh, nash, nash, nash. Anyone have another ball? No. 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 Then it's game over. Meaning my team are still the winners. <laughs> oh dear, Dennis, you must feel so uh, deflated. <laughs> Stop! Dad, bring B. Pie face, get your beaniest pies. Ref, just give me that. <laughs> Kit, please. Well, I'm very impressed, Dennis. You can't allow this, Ref. Well, I'm sorry, Walter, but I'll bet there's not a single word about farting babies inflating footballs in the rules. <laughs> this isn't potty training. This is the beautiful game. Or what I call the beautiful game. Okay, then. Game on. <laughs> Well done, son. Put it there. Nasha, mate, come here. Huh? Uh, 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 <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Nasha, Nasha. I'm Baby B. <laughs> Looks like I won't be needing this bill for a new window after all. <laughs>
doesn't apply to potatoes, pie face. Classmates, I hope you'll all be voting for me to be this year's class prefect. <laughs> we wouldn't vote for you if you were the only kid standing. <laughs> and you are the only kid standing. No one else wants that boring job. Boring? I think not. Helping teachers clean school rules is what I was born to do. Don't tell him, Walter. Fit for Walter! Fit for Walter! Ah, Sausage and Mash Monday! Oh, but you're banned, Nasha. Unless. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper! One bite for me. Um. Ah, and one for you! You need a haircut, Dennis. School rules say hair should be no more than ten centimetres long. Huzzah! <gasps> Lucky me! Stop! Three rules broken in thirty seconds, Dennis. That's a record even for you. Hey? No hair over ten centimetres, no pets in school. What's the third one? No sausages flung into the teacher's mouths between one and two on a Monday afternoon. How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> it's in the rule book. Learn them all tonight, or it's detention every day until you do. Brilliant! I bet there's rules in here that I haven't even dreamed of breaking. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> Rule 409, no fat powder in the dinner hall. Rule 410, no skydiving in assembly. <laughs> you sing just like Walter. <laughs> Listen to this. Rule 411, the class prefect gets to bring a pet to school. It's a really old rule made so Lord Beanoworth's son could bring his tiger to class. <laughs> If you were prefect, you could bring your pet to school. Nash, Nash, Nasha! Yeah, but then I'd have to be the teacher's pet. <sighs> anyway, I've got a much better idea. Time for Plan D and G. Voting is today, so if nobody else wants to be class prefect... Prepare to grovel my subjects. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I graciously accept. Hang on, there's someone else who wants to stand for class prefect. You? I'd rather eat a cactus. Phew, Dennis can't stand as class prefect. The rules say prefects can't have had more than five detentions. He's had 500. Which is why our candidate is... Paul! A potato? No, 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 Dennis. That is a pet. No pets in school. Well, you said yesterday that rule didn't apply to Paul. Then it's time to change the rules. But, Headmaster, the rule is nonsense. He's a potato, a spud. A chip. <gasps> There's nothing in the school rule book that says potatoes can't stand for class prefect. Enough, all of you. Clearly, we need to change the rules to disallow vegetables. Thank you, Headmaster. A triumph for common sense. But the rules say school rules can only be changed by a majority vote at a school meeting on the third Tuesday after a full moon provided there's a J in the month. What a stupid system! Can we change it? Well, yes, but only by a majority vote on the third Tuesday... So what you're saying is there's nothing to stop Paul standing for class prefect. Oh, it seems not. Don't worry, miss. I'm fairly confident I can beat a root vegetable. Very well. May the best man... Or potato. Or potato win. <laughs> Mount Walter! I'm efficient, respectable and a stickler for rules. What more could you want? How about a bit of fun? <laughs> Let's put an end to Walter's waffle by voting for Paul! <laughs> Any candidate who breaks school rules is immediately disqualified. 
the potatoes out. I win. Aha! But Paul didn't break any rules. He's over there. Hello. Detention, both of you. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. Detention's a small price to pay. When Paul wins, he's bringing a pet to school. And that's going to be you. <laughs> Nasha! Aha! You're trying to ruin my campaign so you can bring your stupid dog to school. Not at all, Walter. It's just that Paul's clearly the better candidate. <laughs> Nonsense. What on earth is a potato good for? <laughs> Town School. I'm asked to name one thing a potato is good for, and I give you chips for your fish, mash for your sausages, jackets for your cheese and beans. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm clearly a better candidate. For one thing, I'm smarter than a potato. <laughs> oh, really? What? Six times five times four times three times two times one times zero. Uh, oh, uh, carry the one. Uh, oh. Psh, rubbish. But Paul got it right. What? Paul said nothing. And nothing is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a better athlete than you two. Oh, what nonsense. I bet you he can reach the end of the playground before you can. You'll run on three. Three! <laughs> I'd like to see a potato get there before me. Potato three, Walter nil. I've had enough of this. I'm turning you into mash. <laughs> Totally, utterly ludicrous! It's a potato! A potato! Do you want all the other classes to laugh at us? Thankfully, sanity prevails! That prefect badge is mine! Psst. Looks like we'll have to rely on our top secret plan after all! Yeah. Something. Let me see. See what? You mean these plans? I yeah. wouldn't do that if I were you, Walter. You'd need the agility of a cat to get up there. And you've got the agility of an elephant. Hmm. The agility of a cat, eh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I knew he'd fall for it. <laughs> Walter! I'm shocked! These are plans for cheating to win the election! Walter! These are not mine! But I caught you red-handed! Literally! And, miss, isn't bringing your pet into school against the rules? And aren't rule breakers disqualified, miss? Hmm. Walter, maybe you're not a perfect prefect after all. What? No! <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like there's only one candidate left, miss. So, we have a clear winner. Your new class prefect is Paul the Potato. Oh! Yeah! Give it up for Prefect Paul! Woo! <laughs> you know this is only till they get the rules changed. Yeah, but it'll be fun while it lasts. Speaking of which... Everyone say hello to the class prefect's pet. <laughs> oh, you horrible hound. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Walter. You didn't stand a chance against Team Menace. <laughs> Hi. Oh, 
most have pie. Oh, what's up with him? I've seen him before. Whenever he gets a whiff of an especially tasty pie, it's like sleepwalking without the sleep. You mean he's pie walking? Yep, and I think I know where. Et mashed potato garnish and pepped by moi, Monsieur Tort Visage, pie maker extraordinaire. Oh, oh lovely. Fantastic. Yum. Mm -hmm. pie. Ah, no touching without buying. No. <laughs> ah, my beautiful face. My beautiful pie. Dad? Oh, oh, hello, son. Uh, fancy seeing you here. <gasps> <gasps> Lads! Uh, hey, no, just you. Uh, you know, checking out the competition. Oh, not bad. Needs more pepper. Ah, don't make me laugh. You know nothing about pies. Oi! If my son reckons your pies need pepper, then your pies need pepper. I taught that boy everything I know about pies. Oh, really? And how long does that take, huh? Five minutes? I'll have you know I bake the best pies in Beano Town. Ask anyone you like. Ask your customers. Oh. Magnifique! It seems that even your friends prefer the taste of my pies. <laughs> we never said that. Although, this is very tasty. <laughs> oh, that does it. We'll settle this once and for all. I challenge you to a pie-making contest. Oh, bien sûr. And whoever loses has to close down their shop for good. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, um, I'm going to second. Unless you are un scared cat. <laughs> My dad's not scared of anything. He'll bake a pie you'll never forget. Six o'clock tonight, right here in the street. The town can decide. <laughs> oh. What have I said? What have I done? If I lose this bet, I'll have to close down and leave town. What? Leave town? But that'll break up the menaces. And what about Paul? All oh, his friends are here too. We can't let that happen. You'll just have to bake the most popular pie of your life. But don't worry, we're here to help. I've seen your idea of help before and it always gets out of hand. <sighs> what are you planning? We're going to find the best flavour in the world. Hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. <gasps> hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Très bien. These nincompoops are no threat to me. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, how are we going to find the town's favourite flavour if no one trusts us enough to take one? I've got it! We'll go undercover. Huh? Undercover? Très sneaky, way, but Monsieur Tarte Visage is a sneakier. <laughs> <laughs> Sure to tell us your favourite. Oh, apple, yeah. please. Oh, oh, thank you. Steak for real. Chicken for real. Oh, yes. Yummy. Yeah. No, 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 no. This cannot be. They must not find the favourite flavour. Huh? Hey, is it not? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
No? Perhaps I can uh, make a petit suggestion? Ha-ha! Oh, no one will dare try our pies now. We'll never find Beano Town's favourite flavour. Oh, Tot Visage started it. He splashed me with mash. We can't let him win or the menaces will be split up forever. Imagine that. Mash! <laughs> it's too big to eat. Oh, no. If only Pyfees were still here. <laughs> Dennis, oh, this mixed up pie mix is the best. Huh? Oh, whoa, he's right. This is delicious. <laughs> We've still got a chance. Our fantastic flavour is right here on Pie Face's Pie Face. We just need to know what's in it. Pie Face, what hit you? Um, some pies. Only one thing for it. <laughs> Oh, cherry. Oh. Oh. Uh, now, chocolate. <laughs> Just when I think you lot can't get any sillier. Back off, Walter. This is a highly scientific experiment. Try apple plus strawberry. Hmm? <laughs> Nearly. There's just something missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, we're running out of time. Think, Pyface. Do you remember anything? I remember suddenly feeling very cold. Eh? Why would you feel cold on such a hot day? Of course. Angel Face is flying ice cream. Oi, Walter. I bet you can't hit me with that ice cream. Hmm. Bet you I can. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Do. That's it. The missing ingredients. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. So, three parts cherry, one part chocolate, yep. one part beef. <laughs> really? Don't doubt the pie master. And don't forget the ice cream. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Beth is too scared to even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> a great big recipe makes a great big pie. Nothing can stop us now. Hold it right there. After that fiasco in the park, no one wants you coming near them with a pie. So, Monsieur Tort Visage requested a police line. <laughs> uh -huh. Safety first, way. <laughs> but, but if people don't taste my pie, I don't stand a chance of winning. There we go. Set one foot across this line and I'll arrest the lot of you. Huh? <gasps> and it just remains for you to name me the winner. After all, this is the only pie in the contest, no? <laughs> ah, no! Many seeds! Two arms! <laughs> Dennis, I said... You said don't set one foot across the line, so we won't. Dennis! Stop using those catapults at once! <laughs> yes, Dennis, listen to your papa. And start using these much bigger catapults. <laughs> 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 Let our old friend get drummed out of town, did you? No one splits up our gang. Oh, hey, everyone! It's delicious! Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, 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 very good oh, 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 Delicious! Does everyone agree? Oh, yes. 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 yes! Right then, Dino Town, we have a winner! Yeah, that is it! You win! I would not stay another second in this crazy town if you paid me! Does this mean our pie shop safe? Too right it does, son! <laughs> and more importantly, so are the menaces! We're a winning team! Now who's for second? Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 o